Um, so how do you, this is a question from Angelica. How do you gain confidence while doing LR sections? Amazing question. Very specific. I love how specific this question is. And I'm guessing this is probably someone that has been studying for a little bit longer. So this isn't like just when you're first starting out, but maybe you've been studying for a while and you have good days and you have bad days. Any thoughts, Jasmine? Oh, I was looking at my unicorn horn. Um, hmm. I'm probably going to give the least satisfactory answer and say it's going to depend on you. What what is making you feel less than confident? And really attacking that at the core. Here's my inner sociologist, psychologist person. Um, because I think you know if you can kind of identify what's making you feel really really uncertain, this might feel like. I actually talked to my therapist about this before I fired her. Um, I was like, I feel really bad about the, these specific things. And she's like, okay, so like, let's just get into this deeper. Like, why does that make you feel bad? And how, like, what are strategies you can do to approach those things? Like for me, I always felt like I would feel really rushed to read certain stimuli because there were more words and more like really dense sentences. And like, I, I think identifying that for me, I was like, okay, so that makes me feel rushed because I feel like I need to overcompensate reading really quickly, knowing that to understand it well, I need to read it slowly. So I was like rushing myself through it. Um, and so like, I think honestly, I was like taking a lot of deep breaths and being like, okay, we're just gonna get to this slowly and efficiently actually make me, help me to feel a lot better. It was like articulating that that was what was making me feel uncertain and then just doing more practice with those strategies in mind. Um, and it might just be like, you have to practice with like new new grounding strategies. It might just be, you need more exposure. I don't think that's your issue. Like, I think you've seen a lot of this test and you're, you're, you're kind of second guessing yourself because you've been here for a while, but trust that you know that you know your material. Trust that you know like your strategies and trust that you can like build things that are working for you. I think the, I, to build on that too, is one way that you can build confidence is teaching it to other people. Like you should be able to, like, especially like just knowing where Angelica is at with her study, where she is able to hit 20 questions on a section, definitely in a time section, but she can overthink herself, um, which I think happens to a lot of us when we're trying to be perfectionist and we tend to like not go with our gut. And I think two things that I would be doing, one, which I'll talk about more in a second, is teaching it to other people and two, write down or me like measure whenever you're taking this section, what is your gut reaction to the answer choices? And then what answer choice do you go to? And then whenever you grade it, pay attention to how many was it like, okay, when I like reread the answer choices, I choose chose a different answer versus my actual, my gut reaction or something that maybe matched my prediction actually was the right answer. So you can kind of see the difference between what answer choice tends to be right. For someone like Angelica, I bet you're, I would assume that your gut is probably right more often than not actually. And you, when you overthink it, that's when you should have probably just moved on. Um, where some of us probably, but some of us earlier on in our studying are probably, um, early on in our studying, what are we doing? Oh, we probably actually slowing down and rereading it. We actually might see something that makes a different answer choice actually the correct answer. Where Angelica is just farther along in her studying. Um, the other thing is, which we said that, oh, teaching someone else, you gain confidence by teaching it to other people. If you can break down these stimuluses, I used to, when I, back when I was studying, my partner, her name's Sadie, I should have sent this to her after we're done. We literally would just read stimuluses to each other back and forth and translate them and just to practice um, reading those. And I think if you can teach them to someone else, you're going to get a better understanding. You're going to get faster, but you're also going to be able to, um, you're going to get faster. What else are you going to be able to do? Um, you're going to be able to see kind of through the eyes of the LSAT writers as well of how they might be tricking you up on answer choices and what makes them wrong. Because if you can answer people's questions, you're going to start seeing it from a different light. Do you have anything else to add about getting confidence? Also, celebrate small wins. Are you frozen? Are you still there, Jasmine? Okay, she's like, yes. I am. I'm just like taking this in. I was like, I think the, the small ones, yes. And I think with, with, with what happens when you teach people is you've created a new neuron link to how somebody else like does this. You've, you've built like, you've built the, like, it's kind of like calf races. Like everyone just does like the typical, like, you know, up and down, like you're burning your calf shirt. But if you were to like turn your toes inward, you're yes, like still building outward. your calves or yes. outward. Like you're still yes. building similar like muscles, but you're just getting like the shapes and other contours. Like, it's all the same muscle. 
you're just like approaching it a different way. And that's what you're doing when you teach people because people are going to learn differently than you. Um, but if you can kind of make that connection and like you're strengthening your muscle in a different way, like you're making a stronger muscle. And you're just like, wow, a different burn, such shapely legs. And also like compare Sorry, I'm weird. <laughs> I think that description is perfect it's like how do you strengthen it in a different way it's like using the same concepts but you're now like it's like it feels awkward or a little bit different because it's a different approach but it's just it's truly testing your knowledge okay so 